I also want to express our appreciation for Secretary Shulkin, who is implementing the dramatic reform throughout the VA. But I have no doubt it will be properly implemented. Right, David? Uh, better be David. Uh, we'll never have to use those words. We'll never have to use those words in our David. Well, after weeks of uncertainty, David Shulkin, our David, is out as Secretary of Veterans Affairs, the last Obama-era carryover in the Trump cabinet. He was in good favor with the president until he wasn't. He took heavy incoming fire after an internal report showed, quote, serious derelictions surrounding a trip Shulkin took to Europe with his wife. The tab for 10 days was 100 grand. While in the U.K., they accepted tickets to Wimbledon. The report also found his chief of staff doctored an email so taxpayers would cover the trip's expense. Trump announced the staff change, where else on Twitter, writing, quote, I am pleased to announce that I intend to nominate highly respected Admiral Ronnie L. Jackson, M.D., as the new secretary. Secretary of Veterans Affairs. In the interim, Honorable Robert Wilkie of DOD will serve as acting secretary. I am thankful for Dr. David Shulkin's service to our country and to our great veterans. And while Shulkin's rumored possible replacements ran the gamut from a Fox News host to a three-star army general, the president's choice was a genuine surprise. He chose his doctor, the physician to the president, to run the second largest agency in all of our government, 10 times bigger than the FBI. You may remember the doctor from his memorable on-camera briefing after examining his patient, the president. U.S. Navy Rear Admiral Ronnie Jackson was selected as White House physician back in 06. He previously treated President Obama. And just last week, he was promoted and received his second star. Here is a bit from that memorable briefing a few months back. He has absolutely no, you know, cognitive or um, mental issues whatsoever that he is very sharp. He has incredibly good genes, and it's just the way God made him. His heart is very healthy. He's very sharp, and, uh, you know, he's, he's very articulate when he speaks to me. More stamina and more energy than just about anybody there. The president's overall health is excellent. His cardiac health is excellent. He has incredible genes. I just assume remain fit for duty for the remainder of this term and even for the remainder of another term uh, if he's elected. Well, let's talk about this with retired four-star U.S. Army General Barry McCaffrey, decorated combat veteran of Vietnam, former battlefield commander in the Persian Gulf, now an MSNBC military analyst. He also served as this nation's drug czar under President Clinton. General, what do you make of this, uh, this choice? And I'm also curious as to your customer experience as a more important than average customer of the VA. Well, it's certainly a very unusual appointment. Uh, by all accounts, by the way, this uh, young admiral is a superb physician. Look at his background. He's been the honor graduate of most of his uh, courses. He was a combat uh, doctor in Iraq. Uh, so he's genuinely a very capable physician with a lot of time in Washington. And he's got the confidence of the president of the United States. I must admit, though, it's unusual to have someone of that background who's been running for 12 years now, he's been running a couple hundred people in the White House, uh, to now be in charge of a $180 billion budget and 380,000 employees. And it's not just health care. I mean, there's 131 cemeteries, for gosh sakes, uh, Veterans Benefits Program, which is Byzantine beyond belief. Uh, so it's a very unusual appointment. We've got to wish him well. Um, some people say this is um, another possible step toward privatizing more of the VA, and there are two distinct opinions about that. Uh, what's your take on that? Well, I think that's ex that was the major reason Secretary Shulkin got canned. I mean, he had a boneheaded uh, incident with a travel uh, thing, but I think he was fighting with the political appointees in his own agency. And I must admit, Brian, there is an argument that the VA, which is an absolutely national treasure to the veterans, once you're in it, uh, in the system, they're just terrific uh, docs, medical care is first rate. We spend a ton of money supporting our veterans, the most generous nation on the face of the earth to our veterans. But the VA has got endemic problems. Uh, They've had a lot of problem with institutional lack of integrity, not telling the boss the truth. Uh, they just, uh, they can't seem to organize themselves. There is a solid argument uh, to have every veteran have a credit card with a chip in it 
that says here's the care he's authorized and let the veteran decide whether to go to a VA facility or to go to a private practitioner. I might add that's the way the military medical retirement system works. Uh, if I had a choice, I'd go to Walter Reed. Because I live in Seattle, I use Swedish uh, Hospital. So I think we've got to do something to have competition and to downsize the VA and not try and have them take care of the direct care of veterans all over the nation. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.